I feel like I need to repeat myself. And I'm probably going to need Monsi to repeat what she stated uh, just a little while ago. But I don't want manufactured Caitlin Clark talk. Mm-mm. I don't. I don't. I. I don't. I don't enjoy it. I sometimes feel that it's how manufactured is the right way, but it's all for it's for clicks. And this past week on Fox Sports Radio. Carrie and I were in for Cavino and Rich, and Monty was at the news desk, and Iowa Sam was our technical producer, and where Bo Benson was sitting was Jason Stewart, mm-hmm. and we stumbled upon this who's more popular conversation, Caitlin Clark or Aaron Judge. And it's a conversation. This was what, on Tuesday, guys? That, that's, yes. That's when it happened. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carried over to Monty, and I talked about it on Wednesday. I feel like what, we talked about it on Thursday. Yes. Yes, because Judge hit his <laughs> 300th. Yes. Yes. You talked about it yesterday, and and- you and Hartman took it in a bunch of different directions. Yes. Still get still getting <laughs> uh reaction from all different places. Cavino and Rich talked about it when they were in for Dan Patrick. It's true. Yes, 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 yes. 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 The the whole deal. It's been and it was never meant to go down to that point. <laughs> right? Like we were just we were having a conversation and then it just ended up evolving, which is which is kind of neat. Right. But you just mentioned Caitlin Clark's stat line. She got teed up today, but mm-hmm. they uh, they win. They beat the Storm, which is one of the better defensive teams in the league. And what was your, what was her stat line? Twenty three, five and nine. Twenty three, five and nine. So five rebounds, nine assists, and this is off of her what twenty nine points that she had in the return on mm-hmm. Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Caitlin Clark is is playing really good basketball, and that's good for the Indiana Fever, who are getting closer and closer to a playoff berth. I know this this may sound crazy, but the WNBA playoffs will begin on Sunday, September 22nd. Okay. And if Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever are playing on Sunday, September 22nd, that will go head-to-head with week three of the National Football League. Mm. So now, so I, I, Monty, I'd love your opinion, and I'd love to hear from Iowa Sam and Bo. I want to get Carrie's thoughts as the hoop head and former NFL player, which, by the way, Carrie and I will probably be here on Fox Sports Radio talking about the games as they're going on in the late window. Mm -hmm. But I've got the schedule for week three of the NFL season. (laughs) And I want you guys to choose and Carrie to choose, and you can analyze his pick. And if you'd rather watch Caitlin Clark play in a playoff game or if you'd rather watch week three of an NFL season, that. That's that's what we're talking about here. Oh. And I don't think that the dilemma is as easy as maybe it seems on the surface. And I'm glad that we have Iowa Sam and we have Monty here. They're not wearing their Caitlin Clark jerseys. But I feel that you can give a give a point to this. And Bo Benson, you can as well, maybe coming from the other side. But when you get to week three of the NFL, the newness of the season is worn off a little bit. It's not week one. It's not week two. You're starting to settle in. Yep. And the WNBA playoffs, by the way, are a best of three. So it's not like you're going to get four games of Caitlin Clark. You may only get two, and it could be over with. So if if the WNBA playoffs start and Caitlin Clark is playing in that first game, I'm going to give you the matchups. That we have in week three, mm-hmm. and you have to tell me if you'd rather watch Caitlin Clark in a playoff game or watch the game that I'm going to mention. Perfect. Let's do it. Giants at Browns. Would oh. you rather watch that <laughs> or Caitlin Clark's first playoff game? I'm going to watch Caitlin Clark for sure, that one. So, yes. Oh. Right, right Is me this down. solely because of Daniel Jones? It's it's solely because of Daniel Jones. No, I'm t- how would how would you guys assess Kerry's pick? Did he make the right pick? Yes. I'm, I'm with him. I'm watching it with him. Caitlin Clark. What, what if, by chance, the Giants start out two and zero? This is going into Week Three. Yep. Yes. What if they're two and zero and the Browns are two and zero? I would still pick Caitlin Clark, but yeah, well, on, thank right you for now, us this option. <laughs> right now, it looks bad. They, and, and it's like a good team versus a bad team. Sam's point: they play the Vikings, so they play the Commanders. Those could one be winnable football games for yes. the Giants. Yes. Maybe so, zero two. If they're zero two, then definitely not watching. But so you're going, Caitlin Clark. All right, yeah. Eagles at Saints. Carrie Rhodes, would you rather watch Eagles at Saints or 
WNBA and Caitlin Clark's first playoff game. I'm still watching Caitlin Clark that game as well. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not e- I, listen, I, I know the Saints are a mess. I, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I have no idea. They have no identity to me whatsoever. But it's still the Eagles, and they could be a train wreck. You're still going Caitlin Clark. And this is from me now. I haven't even I know. watched I haven't watched a full Caitlin Clark game yet, guys, just ah. so you understand. I've seen some of the games. Sure, sure. I've definitely seen action. But I haven't watched the whole game. So But according to Carrie, she's way more popular than Aaron Judge. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is. Uh, all right. Texans at Vikings. Oh, Caitlin Clark. Are you serious? CJ Stroud is <laughs> no that way. offense. There's no way. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> no His way. I, I'm sorry. You, you guys have to remember. Again, if you guys aren't aware, I played in the NFL for a long time. I don't need to see oh, a week I three. Know that. My, right, right, right. My, First day starter no, from day one. Yeah, I thought he but, was just an but, actor. But, but, but yeah. they're saying, <laughs> I know, but they're throwing it out there like, I have to be that invested in the game three of this season. That's all I'm saying. So just from that standpoint for me. What, what if we framed it as big screen versus iPad? <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely have them both on. Okay. Yeah. I, I would have CC on, on on the iPad for sure. I, I thought like this one would be like, like okay, Uh-oh. CJ Stroud right. the Texans. No, I love CJ. Ryan. Yes, I love CJ Stroud, yeah. I, I think we're going to be 0 for 4. <laughs> By the way, if this was six years ago, Eagles, Saints, I would definitely go not. Yeah. Yeah. It was six years ago. It'd be on Sunday night football, not a one yeah. o'clock Eastern <laughs> right. time kick. Um, that would be a, yeah. yeah. Broncos, this year, so much. Broncos at Buccaneers. Oh my God. Caitlin Clark and the fever, <laughs> yeah, baby. I, yeah. It's a clean sweep. <laughs> it's a clean it's, sweep. It's, by the way, this is also a review of the NFL and like the matchups <laughs> that they will give you in week three. Oh my God. Because they still know that you're football hungry, but they just apparently didn't take the Caitlin Clark effect. Dan, I will I will say I all four of those I'd watch over Caitlin Clark in the playoffs. <laughs> you would? <laughs> yeah. Wow, really? Why? The only one maybe I would not fully pay attention to is Giants Browns. Yes, I actually agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I was I would like Eagle Saints I'd watch Texans Vikings for sure. I definitely watch Broncos Bucks. If it was creamsicles against like the orange crush, oh, you know, you where it's there. just like orange fever, like that would be that would be the best. I, I feel like Buccaneers and Broncos is for some reason is compelling to me like this year. I would watch that. I, for some reason is correct because I don't know why you would. <laughs> like Sean, I mean, I, I Sean, I don't the, know. Uh, you have Bo Sean Nicks against Bo, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, you know, it does it for you. I don't know. That's just an intriguing matchup to me because we don't know what the Broncos will be. That'd be bad, but. So, out of all you guys in here, so Dan, Monty, Bo, Sam, do you guys, any game that's on, you're probably watching that game, correct? I think there's fantasy aspects of it. Yeah. There's picks aspects of it. It's, you know, one of the, the great things about the NFL is, you know, there are a lot of different ways to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And so, like, that's why. And, heck, you may have, you may not have anybody on your fantasy team, but you're going up against someone on the fan, you know, in your fantasy game. So you're going to watch it for that reason. But this, again, this would be the 1 o'clock Eastern time window right. of week three where you could have a WNBA playoff game going on at that point. All right, I got a, a, a couple of more, and then okay. and then we'll get to the late window. We'll try to make this – we'll speed it up a little <laughs> bit. But it has been interesting. Packers at Titans. I'm going to watch Caitlin Clark <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I – Jordan Love, I love. I love the Packers store. I know the Packers are going to be good, but Isn't I don't. Isn't that enough to like be no. like, all right, I want to. No, it's not do or die. All right. It's do or die. All right. Bears at Colts. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I would watch the Packer game because I'm a Packers <laughs> fan. I, Titans, not a good team. But yeah. I think that because the Packers are in that, yeah. I would watch because yeah. that's my favorite team. Sure. Right. That, that's fair. So Iowa Sam has actually abandoned Caitlin Clark he for is. his favorite football team. I'm starting to. Who he had second him. thoughts yeah. about because of. <laughs> you did think about the 49ers. At one point, you kind of had a I like watching them that. too. Yeah, I'm starting to question. I will say them now. I, I, minus the 22 imprint under his shirt, I see there. I, I'm, I'm starting to question this fandom. Uh, I love football too. <laughs> Bears at Colts. Uh oh, huh? We know what Bo's going to say. I would actually yeah. okay. That would be interesting. I want to see Caleb Williams. So yes, that would be. I would probably watch. Thank that you one. very much. Yeah, I would yeah, watch. Did you, that you one. see Caleb Williams in that game yesterday? That doesn't matter. I yeah. I, well, I didn't watch do, it, but I do count. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I definitely. I tweeted. I think he's already a top five must see 
most exciting quarterback mm-hmm. in the NFL. Yeah. He rivals Caitlin Clark, and he's like a weird. There's this weird parallel. Like, what was it? Who's the day? more popular? <laughs> no, really. Okay, no, don't get. But was it the jersey sales thing that Caleb Williams like blew out of the water like at, right after Caitlin Clark yeah. got drafted? Yeah, and he like surpassed it somehow. Yeah. So he's very popular. The there you funny go. thing that I, this is and this is like this is what annoys me about the NFL, and I saw somebody do this like they. Broke down the film on Caleb Williams, and guess what? Didn't have as many efficient throws as he thought. Uh, who cares? Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was, I was watching a preseason game, and I was locked in, mm-hmm. and he was magnificent. Mm-hmm. That's what the NFL needs. Yep. They need more of that than See? coaching film breakdown. Uh, last, last early game of the window, Chargers at Steelers. Chargers at Steelers. I would rather eat a Clark bar than watch that game. Yeah. That, oh, so you're uh, good on that. Yeah. I, I do not need to see. That's. And the final score, the Steel City. Six to three. Yeah. Steelers 13, Chargers yeah. 10. That's the first one for me where I think I would pick the WNBA playoff game. Really? The actual. Wow. Game, uh, yeah. it, the uniforms would look great. Steelers have a nice look. Hardball. You want to see hardball? Sure. I know you don't. No. <laughs> no, you're, ter- you're tuning in for hardball. It's hard to watch ball. <laughs> All right, so of the seven early games, there's one, one that would get Carrie's attention. All right, the late window. When you and I likely will be sitting here breaking down games in week three. Uh-huh. Dolphin are we gonna have to are we gonna have to leave a TV open for a Caitlin Clark playoff game? Gotcha. Dolphins at Seahawks. I'm biased, so I'm staying uh, out of this. I know, <laughs> I, I know you're a Seahawk. Uh, I definitely would watch the Dolphins for sure. I love their offense and I do and, and I like Gino as well. So Monty, are you uh, you're all on Caitlin Clark? No, no, I think I would want to uh, have the Dolphins game on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. May I change it after a quarter or two, possibly? <laughs> and you flip back and forth. Yeah. Right, right. Panthers at Raiders. Panthers at. No, I'm Abs- watching Caitlin yeah. Clark all the, all the time on that one for sure. That one will be shown in two counties in Nevada <laughs> and in the greater Charlotte area. Right. And and probably actually parts of LA. Well, hey, actually, Big Mike's honest. house. Big Mike house too, right? <laughs> hey, you guys want to go to the Raiders <laughs> Panthers game? That's not fair on Big the Mike's not in the building. The the impression doesn't resonate as much. <laughs> All right, what about uh, homegrown? 49ers and Rams. Oh, definitely 49ers and Rams, for sure. Definitely we'll watch that one. NFC West matchup. Mm-hmm. Lions and Cardinals. I watched that one as well. Lions and I Cardinals. think that'd be a pretty fun one. Yes, it's a good color contrast. Mm-hmm. Yes, the red and the light blue. Mm, it's yes, good stuff. Hopefully the Cardinals don't wear their black uniforms. Yeah, that no. yeah they'll I'm mess it up. <laughs> and then Ravens at Cowboys. Oh, you know, oh, Ravens and Cowboys for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The late window, the NFL back ending with some of the matchups there. There you go. The Sunday night game is Chiefs at Falcons. Ooh. Yes, I want to watch that one as well. So now they got me. I think it's just the early games. That I would tune in to Caitlin Clark. 100%. There were there were thirteen games in that in that window, and Carrie Rhodes, if I, if my math is correct, six. Yep, and you chose to watch six NFL games and chose Caitlin Clark seven other times. So she's more famous. There's the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but it also does tell you a couple of things. The NFL does set up their schedule in a way where you really like week one and week two brings you in. And then it kind of lulls a little bit week three. They try different things. But when you get to like mid November, there's usually like a, a five week stretch, five or six week stretch where you're going to get Eagles, Cowboys, you know, bills, chiefs, Mm -hmm. you know, some of the, you know, 49ers lions, like you're going to get some really like great, Top notch matchups, and they all it all kind of is in that November, December, Thanksgiving, Christmas like in that whole month span. There, you're going to get great games, but there just aren't enough great games, and we know that because we've seen some of them that have appeared on Amazon or on Monday Night Football. But also, like the one o'clock Eastern time window doesn't have as much pizzazz anymore because of all the different games and all the different mouths that you need to feed. You need a good game for the Sunday night game. You need a decent game for the Monday night game. You need a halfway decent one for the Amazon one. And CBS and Fox are sitting there and saying, well, you can't forget about us. We've been here forever right. in the late window. So you get the this early window of games that maybe just isn't as appealing as it once was. And that 
tends to show why Kerry Rhodes would rather watch Caitlin Clark <laughs> in six out of those seven early window games. Again, the Fever have to lock up a playoff spot to be able to do it, but it also then just tells you where maybe your attention will be. And in the best of three, which I did not realize, yep. and I, I will be happily corrected if I'm wrong because I tried to find this, the first two are actually at the higher seeds games or at home arena. So if it goes to three, the visiting team actually hosts a game three. Oh, wow. Yes. Which last year there were a bunch of sweeps in the first round, so it never needed to because the better team won their two home games gotcha. and the series was over with. But if the Fever don't get a top four seed, if they stole a game on the road, they'd be able to get game three, you know, in Indianapolis. How many playoff spots are there in the uh, WNBA? Eight. Is it's, it eight? Yeah, it's best okay. of three, then it goes best of five and best of five for the uh, WNBA. Got finals. it, got it, got it.